But y'all, this is your boy, the Chaco Bay. Y'all, this is going to be a quick video, as you guys already know. Now, I just want to talk about the Wiley hits meltdown, breakdown, whatever you want to call it, that took place today. Now, Wiley, he relocated from Dallas, Texas to Las Vegas. So he went into Walmart yelling terroristic threats, saying that he had a bomb. He was going to blow up people. Um, he even went up to a couple of people in the store saying he was going to blow them up. Do they want to, you know, die and stuff like that. Um, I'm affiliated with Wiley due to DC Gate, something that happened when I first started YouTube, meeting up with, uh, you know, content creators that I thought was saying cool people, and then shit just blew up in your face. Um, do I feel sorry for Wiley? Not really. Do I think that this was a stint? Yes, I do. And here's why. When I first started YouTube, one of my friends, one of my best friends, Pretty T, she has a channel as well, and she had Armand Wiggins on when him and Wiley was going back and forth. And Armand Wiggins got on there, and he said, even from the library incident, Wiley was trying to go viral. He talked to Wiley when he was in a psych ward. Wiley was trying to emulate another content creator called, that was booming at that time, Boom Cat or something like that. He's a, he's a light-skinned guy that had dreads, I believe, or short hair, and he had tattoos all over his face. And he would do different skits and go viral. So Wiley was trying to emulate him in regards to the, um, to the uh, library incident, and that's on camera, like that's on video in which she has or whatever. Well, Wiley, you know, Armand said that or whatever. So Wiley has been trying to go viral for years, y'all. This is his judge just trying to get out there, go viral. I think he's sick of YouTube. I think his, I believe his page is demonetized. Wiley moved to Las Vegas. He's just trying to go viral, doing a lot of crazy shit. I think even a couple of weeks ago, according to him, he was in the hospital and he went to jail or something. Nonetheless, before he went or whatever happened, he put his page on private. He hid his com complete page. So I think Wiley is very methodical. He's very calculated, even with the whole DC gate thing. Wiley had recordings of people, recordings of me, um, things I didn't even know, chopping up stuff, making things, making people think or allude that something, you know, uh, something, uh, something else took place in which it did not. But he's very methodical and, and malicious with how, how he does things. He knows how things work, even with his um, incident in the, at Walmart this morning. Like he went up to a lady who was saying, look, I have a bomb. Do you want to die? And the lady was like, yeah, which was crazy. You know, the whole thing, which is sad, comical, but then it's not at the same time because of what's taking place. But it's like Wiley was trying to get a reaction from her. He was trying to get an uproar. He was like, look, I'm coming in here. I'm this big black man and you're not even threatened by me. Like you're not even, you know, and, and you're not even panicking. People just like, you know, people leaving nonetheless, but it wasn't this whole chaotic scene, I guess, that he thought that he could get from saying he has a bomb. Because if you tell me you got a bomb, babe, I'm getting the hell up out of there. But I don't trust Wiley. I think this is all a skit. And my thing is, according to him, he's been diagnosed as being bipolar, in which I don't know if people have seen any documentation or, or do they know, but I think that he, it's a crush for him. Anything, anytime something happens, he has to reference his mental illness. I mean, anything that he does, he has to reference his mental illness. And it's a crutch when he gets in trouble, when he does things. Let me just say I'm bipolar or whatever. Or this to try to, you know, escape out of these charges or, you know, so things are lessened or things aren't as serious or, you know, or long, you know, long term as far as like uh, getting in trouble. But I don't believe any of this. I believe that this is a complete skit gone wrong while it's trying to go viral. I don't trust him. And I get how people want sympathy and they want to be empathetic to his situation but i'm just saying look at his past i know while i have dealt with him i know how he gets down people think that just because he has according to him diagnosed with a mental illness that he's delayed or he's you know has issues i'm not saying that it's not a underlying issue i think that something is there nonetheless i think that he is calculated and he knows exactly what he's doing i don't think that this just happened sporadically because he was having a meltdown while it was very calm cool and collected even with the police he learned from the first time from the library because i mean like the police you're a big black guy you're dark skin you don't want them to potentially you know harm you or unalive you so of course he lowered his voice he was not you know frantic he was not violent he knows exactly how to move you know especially with the police because you don't want to get hurt you know so i don't believe any of this unfortunately and i just think that he needs to calm down he needs to sit his behind down before he really really gets in trouble and you never know maybe he doesn't have a place to live maybe he's trying to get disability maybe he's just trying to get 
uh, government assistance and maybe it's a way to speed up the process if you're in a facility or if they assume or you tell them that you have a mental illness and you're running around town acting crazy and doing you know skits and just trying to go viral in which they think that you're having a psychotic break in which you're not so comment below let me know what y'all think peace